Well, hi everybody. We're on day two of our 30 days of Animal Crossing. Today we are going to do uh, stunt some trees, plant some palm trees in the grass, make some little baby stumps. We're going to sea leaf and Sahara and I'll show you how to time travel. So we're going to do a lot of stuff today and tomorrow we'll start the brand new island. But today I'm going to show you how to do things that uh, I keep, keep getting um, a lot of questions about. So I thought I'd show you. So this is how we're going to stunt the trees. First, plant a piece of fruit wherever you want. And we're also going to plant a palm tree in the grass. So you open up your island uh, app. <laughs> I can't remember the name of that app, but you know, the one where you can terraform and, and all that. And you're going to select, let's run over here. Select the sand path option. Well, let's first run and grab a couple coconuts because we need to plant coconuts. So let's go over here. Island designer app, that's the name of it. But all right, let's grab a couple little coconuts and run back up here. Okay, so let's run over here, open up our island designer app and we want to select the sand path. And you lay down a tile of sand and then you simply plant a coconut. And actually let's go do, I'm gonna eat an orange here so we can dig up a big palm tree and I can show you the finished product, I guess. So let's eat one of these and go dig up a, a, a fully grown palm tree and I'll show you how that looks. So you get a little bit better of an idea. Okay, so we'll just stick it right here in front of Eric's house. He's so cute. So we put down the sand and we should be able to just hit plant, although I'm not facing forward. Let's see. Yeah, you have to just face directly in front of it. Let's try this again. And just hit plant. And there you go. So now you can plant palm trees anywhere on your island. It doesn't have to be just on the beach. So I'm going to eat this and actually dig that back up <laughs> so I don't forget it and leave it in front of Eric's house. Okay, so let's dig this up. Then we are going to time travel to the next day. And I'll show you how easy that is to do. And we can see how these have grown. So we're going to run down here. We're going to log off. We're going to go to our uh, controls on our switch down to system, down to date and time. And we're gonna go ahead by one day. You do have to close it out, otherwise it doesn't uh, do it. So go over here and down here to system, down here to the date, go forward just one day. And then we going, are going to reset and start the next day and we'll see what how they've grown and if we have any uh, like Leaf or Sahara or whoever's on the island, I'll show you how they work as well. Or maybe we'll have Red. He's fun to go on his boat because besides the uh, artwork, he also sells a couple other items and it's just kind of cute. <laughs> He's fun. I love it when he shows up. So, all right. It uh, takes a little while for this to reload. But then you'll see we're one day ahead. So this video is going to have quite a few... Uh, different things to uh, to sample and try if you haven't done it. We're going to make some little baby stumps, uh, do the time traveling. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to start a brand new island and I'm going to go start to finish for the next 28 days after that. And that should be fun, I think. Oh, there's Walker. He's so cute. Well, everyone on this island is so cute. <laughs> this is my forever island, my oldest island that I have. So... It's full of a bunch of cute little dreamies, but wow, it does take a long time to load the initial screen here, doesn't it? So, okay, should be any sec. There we go. Here's Isabel. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, 
Okay, I don't really care about doing the clothes things. So, all right, and here we see the little trees are the day one growth. So they're pretty little. I like the second day growth myself. So this is day one, just so you can see they're all growing. Uh, I'm gonna let that one grow another little bit as well. Oh, I do wanna run over here and say hi to Eric because he's my favorite and he is so cute. So we'll just say hello real quick and then we'll move on. Okay, let's run back up here to the trees and uh, we'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so actually we're just going to time travel ahead one day and we'll see the next day growth. And then I'll show you how to stunt the trees and we'll go from there. So again, we're gonna do the time travel thing. So if you want another reminder, you close it out and uh, this is how you do it. Just move ahead just one day. And it's that simple. You don't lose any progress. If you go backwards, you, and it's pretty, it's fun. I mean, if you've played the game for a long time and you don't want to go, you know, wait <laughs> a whole day, like if you want to just get your trees done or whatever, the time traveling's fun. Some people don't like it and that's okay. Everybody plays their own way and that's the fun of this game. Good, we have Leaf. Oh, I gave that pink sweater to Eric. Oh, how cute is that? So yeah, we'll check out Leaf. I did have someone ask, like, where do you get all the shrubs and different plants and all? So here's Leaf. If you don't have Harv's Island open, they do randomly come to your island. No, no set schedule, but uh, I'll show you what he has in his inventory. So if you haven't opened Harv's Island yet, this is where you'll get the different plants and flowers and vegetables. Well, we do have a campsite villager. We're going to check it out on the very rare, <laughs> uh, maybe it's one of our very, very good dreamies that we don't have on this island. It's not too many, so we're going to run down there and check it out. But look at these trees. This is the second day growth. This is the perfect size, I think, because they're so adorable. They don't look tiny. They look, you know, full, but they're adorable. So this is how we do it. Do is plant a piece of fruit next to the tree. I did not mean to dig that tree up. Whoops. Let's put it back down here. But we just plant a piece of fruit, not a coconut, uh, next to the tree. So we're going to put it right here just for demonstration sake. Normally I put it, the extra fruit behind so you don't see it, but it has to be that close. It can be any of the squares around the tree. But see, if you do it behind the tree like this, you don't see it. So it doesn't look you know, you don't have that extra little thing right there. But that's it. So I'm going to leave these to grow the next day. And uh, let's go check out Leaf real quick. Obviously, after we say hello to Eric, because he is the best villager ever. gonna hit the campsite first and then we'll hit leaf and it could be and I'm looking for you know Bo, Poppy, Molly there's a few that you know they may be here so let's see who do we have as a campsite villager today let's see oh uh, no very pretty colors but not for this island all right so let's run up to leaf and I will show you how he sells you the bushes and plants and uh, vegetables. So every time he comes, he has a different selection. So I will get some pumpkins because I'm going to do some cooking on here. Uh, the wheat makes flour. So if you want to bake anything, you need the flour. A lot of recipes need the pumpkins as well. And the bushes here that he has today, these are not my two, two of my favorites because 
I, I just don't care for the leaves on these bushes. So they're okay. Like if you're doing an island that has pink or red or apples or things like that, those bushes would look really cute. But I'm not going to get those today. I don't care for those, but I do like the mums. So we'll grab the mums. And when you have him on Harv's Island, obviously you can go over there as often as you want and get as many things as you want. Otherwise, he shows up very randomly. So I suggest opening up Harv's Island. And you can do that after you hit three stars. Until three stars, you have to wait for Leaf to just randomly be here. But this is... This is where you get the bushes and plants. Okay, so we are going to now time travel to the next day. So I'll once again show you how that works here. You gotta close it out, go one day forward, and I'll show you the difference in the tree growth and then show you how to chop them down to make tiny baby little tree stumps. <laughs> Sometimes in your island, a baby tree stump is the exact thing that you want for decorating. So this is how you would uh, come up with little baby tree stumps. Okay, let's see what Isabel has to say today or who we have on the island today. I think every day there's somebody here. Okay, so let's go find Sahara, but we're going to first do the trees. Okay, so here we go, and you can see the difference between the second day and third day growth. So you can see that it worked. You plant the, and this one grew as well because we didn't stunt it. So if we were gonna stunt this one, this is a great size right here because it looks fully grown, but it's just tiny. It's just miniature. So again, this is how you do it. You plant the fruit, not a coconut, behind the tree and it's pretty much hidden, but it will stay small. But we are going to now cut it down and show you how we get the little tiny tree stumps. And actually the stumps will be even tinier if you cut them down on the first day growth. But this is day two and three of the growth. So this is a third day size we'll cut this down you don't get any wood from it but look it's like half the size so we'll cut this one down feel a little bad cut out a baby tree but here we go and look how cute that is see sometimes you just need a tiny little tree stump so that's how that happens <laughs> and we're going to dig up this tree here because we don't need it any longer it's not going to grow obviously Okay, so there you have it. I am going to run down and find Sahara in a minute, but just look how cute these are. You can sit on this one. You cannot sit on this tiny one. So day one and two tree stumps, you can't, but from that size up, you can. And actually, let's run over here and cut down this one too. I can show you what a small tree stump on the palm tree looks like in a second here. Okay, I do want to first find Sahara real quick and make sure I have some money. She is where you get the really cool floors, rugs, and wallpapers. Again, she's on Harv's Island, if you open Harv's Island up. And then you could go there every single day if you want. And uh, we'll say hello on the way by. And I did do the early bird ordinance too, so even though it's early, my shops are open. But Sahara has all the great wallpapers and floors, and there are some really cool ones. I have to get some money <laughs> out of here. I don't have enough bells, so grab some bells, track down Sahara. And yeah, she has really cool stuff for your house. So I suggest open her, opening her up on Harvest Island, or at least buying her stuff when she comes to your island. And I do still have almost a billion bells because I bought the turnips on a treasure island. If you're interested in getting a billion bells, then check out those videos. I've done a few where you can go to treasure islands and get a billion bells just in the blink of an eye. Makes the game a lot more fun. But anyway, we're going to run around here and find Sahara and see what she has to offer today.
So cherry blossom season is between April 1st and I think April 10th this year. So look how cool the pink trees look. I don't have many trees on my island, but the hardwood trees turn pink. The fruit trees do not. But uh, if you like the cherry blossom trees, plant a bunch of hardwood trees and between April 1st and 10th, you can have them all over your island. They are really pretty. And uh, okay, we're just looking for a camel here. So <laughs> she should be easy to find. Okay, we'll speed things up here a little bit since we're just kind of running around the island grabbing a few little things and saying hello. I haven't seen some of my villagers for a while, so we'll say hello, but we'll uh, speed it up and find Sahara and get on with getting some cool rugs. Okay, so I... Uh, I found her, obviously. <laughs> and we're going to buy a rug, a wallpaper, and a flooring. And we'll see what we end up with today. You don't get to choose when that's the difference between Harv's Island and when she comes to your island. When she comes to yours, it's a surprise. It's She has mysterious wallpapers, mysterious flooring. If you go to her island, she opens up her little backpack and you can see like six or eight different options and you can choose if you want them or not. So... That's the difference between uh, opening her up at Harbs Island. So it is worth it. So a lot of the really cool uh, wallpapers and flooring and rugs you can only get from her. So you can buy a lot from Timmy and Tommy, but she has the ones that are like interactive, like with the clouds that float around or the water that moves and the flooring like that. The, wa the walls that have like the rain that come down and things. She's the one that has those wallpapers and flooring so if you want the really cool interactive floors of wallpaper she's your girl okay we'll check out what we got some of the ones that you get from her as a surprise are kind of silly so yeah none of those are fantastic but again if you have her on harv's island you can choose so we're going to run up here and cut down this palm tree the baby palm tree and show you what the tiny little baby palm tree stump looks like and uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna start a brand new island and we'll go 28 days uh, start to finish. I will use Treasure Islands to get a lot of the items. So if you're interested in watching that, we're gonna start tomorrow and choose the map and uh, probably just do, I don't know what theme we'll do yet, but anyway, let's cut down this little baby palm tree here. And look at that, how cute is that little stump? So. Anyway, thanks for being here, you guys. And this is what the little baby stumps look like, how to stunt a tree, how to time travel, how to see leaf in Sahara. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped out. So we'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.